Oh, hi on YouTube. Thunderblade in the area. Guys, I have some awesome news. We finally hit 100% of our donation goal at Coffee. So thank you very, very much to everyone that donated. We just reached the 100% goal, which means I'm able to now build the new prototype in 2022. Th special thanks to Sebastian because he donated a lot. I've bought all the electronics, all the batteries, and the motors, the wheels. And as soon as the motors arrive here at my house, I can start building the, the frame, okay? It's, it's really hard to build the frame without having the, the parts here because I, I cannot, I don't have the, all the measurements I need to actually build a part around them. So, okay, today I'm going to show you what I, I bought right now. One of the main problems of the electric landscape is the battery, right? The battery is like one of the big puzzles with the motor. I, I would like to use the prismatic LiPo batteries which are the same they use on drones, but most of the motors we use right uh, nowadays, they use a 36 volt system. It's really hard to find LiPo prismatic batteries at 36 volt systems. Uh, usually you only, you only find right now 36 volt batteries. So usually 36 volt batteries are easier to find on the cylinder format instead of the price the prismatic so the prismatic or the pouch kind of battery because of the volume because it's squared right it's easier to fit in uh, the term volume but for electric vehicles most of the world now it's using the 18 650 usually we see them on these kind of flashlights like this right it looks like an AA battery. The name is 18650, which means 18 millimeters diameter and 65 millimeters height. Okay, so these batteries are kind of very versatile, 3.7 volts. So you just stack 10 of them to have a 37 volt battery. They are very, very easy to, to build around. They are very versatile. You have a lot of different capacities for these batteries. But the problem of these batteries is that they have a really low C rating. What is a C rating? C rating has to do of how much amps you can discharge the battery. So most of these have 10 amps discharge rate maximum. We are talking about 30 amp system here on the electric inline skate. The previous prototype of the 2000, 2018 prototype I used a 22 volt system, but I had 50 amps discharge. So I got a lot of watts, okay? A lot of power. Right now, what I'm trying to do is make this prototype, the, to make this prototype very modular, which means I'm going to make it in a way that mo a lot of people will be able to reproduce it. I will say like, I bought these parts and you, you, can, you can buy the same parts and build the same Thing as I'm doing because we will not require a lot of tinkering. These are the batteries that I bought. Okay, they are kind of big for an electric landscape. And the problem is we need 10 batteries for the 37 volt system. But to make up for the lack of discharge rate, we need to put another 10 batteries in parallel to these. So we can have uh, 10 cells two parallel system here, which means I have 20 cells here, 20 batteries in this pack. So, which means we have 20 of these inside of here. You can see the size match. So there's, a, there's 20 batteries here. These are actually hoverboard, the Chinese generic hoverboard batteries, because these things are cheap and they are very easy to obtain right now. I think these ones are refurbished ones because they were like cheaper than buying the, the, the cells separately. I have two of these batteries and one for each foot, of course. They're kind of big, you, you can see. And this is the box where the, the electronics came in. I'm using generic electric, electric speed controllers. I'm not using anything programmable or fancy like the VESE the VASC. Let me show you first the, con the hand controller. Okay, one of the things that I chose this specific 
controller is that in the ad, in the AliExpress page, they showed one controller controlling two speed controllers, which means I could use one controller and control both feet. I do not know if this is possible yet, okay? Out of the box, at least. I will keep you updated on this as I build, but I cannot actually test it because the, the motors didn't come yet. Okay, since the motors are too heavy, they will, they will take a while to arrive. And I'm waiting for about a month and a half. So I hope they, they arrive at the end, by the end of June. Let's see. Okay, so let me show you the controller. It has one screen here, has the, ex the, the throttle control here. They, they even like put brake and acceleration here. You have the power and the reverse, which means this only brakes, this doesn't go on reverse. So you have to brake, change, click the change button to reverse. Of course, if Thunderblade actually goes into production, I will ob obviously have custom controllers built by them. And then we will have like brake and reverse together. When we are skating, we like to spin and sometimes just go backwards and just want to accelerate backwards. I don't want to stop and change for changing like the board guy, the board guys. Okay, so this was the hand controller. It has a, like a lanyard, so you, it's harder to you, for you to drop it. And it's really easy to hold. To the electric speed controllers. So these are the electric speed controllers. You can see here they have a, a metal back plating and they have all these wires here. Okay, so this is for the battery and these are for the motors, like three for each motor. And they have here the, the input for the hall sensors on the motors. Okay, so they should work and they already have this metal plating for heat dissipation. So I'll just take this to a bigger metal plate so it can act as a heat diffuser. And the, the one good thing about these, when you buy it like them, is like you get a, a power button. One of the problems with high voltage systems, like 36 volts and onward, is when you plug the batteries, you have usually like a spark, like Okay? Thanks. And this spark can actually fry these electronics. So you have so if you, keep, if you keep plugging and unplugging, keep plugging and unplugging every time you go use your prototypes, it's easier to fry these. So you put this. Also, it's kind of, it's just more convenient to just click the power button instead of just taking off your battery and plugging and unplugging it. If you saw this, you have like six wires here, which means it's for two motors. So of course, I have two of them because this is for one foot and this is for the other foot which means the first prototype I will build, it will be a four motors prototype, okay? I don't know how fast we will go. I'm estimating at least 20 to 25 miles an hour, but I'm not, I'm not really sure. What about now? I have the speed controllers, I have the remote controllers, and I have the batteries. I need the motors to arrive to start building the frame. I, I've discussed on previous videos about the boot, how we could build a self-lacing mechanism and all of this stuff. But for the prototype, the important part we're trying to test are the motors, the batteries and speed controllers. Okay, the electronics are the parts that we need to see if they work together. So the first, very first prototype will be like something very, very, very simple just to attach all the electronics. I will put a normal boot on it, okay? Probably a uh, open boot design like the dupe just to make it easier to test it out, okay? I've blown a few, <laughs> I've put some prototypes on fire before and sometimes you are far away from home and then your prototype dies on you and then you have to walk home. So it's nice to, to, to be able to be wearing your own shoes when this happens. I really don't want that to happen, of course. So the time frame right now. Motors arrive, build simple frame, test electronics, motors together. That works, let's go on, on building a better frame. I will post everything in detail, all the builds, everything I will put this on 
YouTube. So check back on our channel. I will keep posting another uh, other videos about electric inline skates and all. For now, this is it. This is the first update. So yeah, this is the first video on the series of building the 2022 prototype. So as soon as I have the motors in hand, I will post a second update talking about the motors and making uh, uh, the first test here on camera to see if the motors actually spin. Right, we never know if these things will spin or not. Start building the the, f the first frame to test. I mean, when they arrive, I might just start building right away because just like you guys, I'm waiting for this for so long. Keep tuning in on our YouTube channel because as soon as the models arrive, I will post it here, I will post it on Coffee, I will post it on Twitter. And yeah, we're gonna build this together and we'll make it work and then we will storm the streets. So, keep tuning in, we're gonna build this prototype and let's storm the streets.